One Circuit Mailbag, coming to you live from downtown Tasmania. One Circuit, where liking and subscribing is very unlikely. Unusual packaging. And these are, I think, LED globes. They are. So yeah, we've got some, well, we, we had some incandescent globes upstairs in a, um, in a configuration in the kitchen. And they were, yeah, very inefficient. Electricity is pretty expensive these days. So I just thought I would get some LED equivalents to replace them. And uh, it's this format, I think, that uh, I'm looking for. At least I hope I've ordered the right ones. Is it G4 or G9? Uh, it says... It doesn't say anything. Generic. There we go. Yeah, it's this little sort of weird loopy things on the end, which I was looking for. And uh, I'm just hoping that I've got the right ones. I'll plug them in. And uh, we'll see how we go. Wow, this one must have travelled quickly. It's got a bit burnt on re-entry. And it is... Ah, it is... Thermocouples. And these are, I think, replacement thermocouples for 3D printers but in fact you could use them in a whole range of different scenarios and uh, oh that's a nice long wire too but I'm pretty sure that these are the ones that you would use for well in this case I've got a Creality uh, Ender 3 V2 and I think these are just straight replacement thermocouples for the hot end um, but yeah you could probably experiment with them in other scenarios as well just, uh, just grab them really as spares. Here's an old thermocouple project you probably haven't seen for a while. So this is my rig that I set up, gosh, I don't know, maybe 18 months ago, maybe even two years ago, a long time ago. Uh, I'll link the video up anyway, uh, in order to do, well, to connect up to an oven uh, so that I could... Uh, flow solder for uh, a PCB that was proving difficult to solder. So this was an SMD version. And uh, yeah, it just tracks the time and the temperature. This thing goes in the oven and uh, in, let me just get some heat on it to see if it's still working. So it's pretty cold down here in the... Uh, there you go. Yeah, that's still working pretty well. So I just wonder, this it's, uh, it's via a Max uh, 6675, I think, that little unit there, which you can't really see. If I turn it up this way, there we go. Uh, that's that guy there. And, uh, oh, I've upset it now. Um, and uh, and that's a, uh, well, that is a Atmega 328P in there. It's pretty bodgy looking, actually, and then just, it just uh, exports to an OLED I doubt that that's 200 degrees. I don't know what that's doing at the moment. I think I really have upset it. I'll start it again. And, yeah, that's more like it. 34 degrees, 35. Uh, let's see if we can cool it down. We'll just use some upside-down air. It should plummet the temperature. Yep, that's cooled it down pretty quick. So uh, I wonder if these thermocouples... Uh, will be able to be used in this rig. Let's try it out. Yeah, not holding out much hope for this, really. I'm, I'm thinking that this is 24 volts that's normally supplied to these guys, and I've got five coming through, so not reading anything. Uh, there is a plus minus on here, so whether you have to turn it around the other way or not, I don't know. Let's try that. Plug that in there and in here. Not even sure what sort of connection I'm getting, really. But, um, oh, and that's upset it again. <laughs> it's a really dodgy setup. Let's put some heat on it, but I don't think we're going to get anything. Uh, might get some melted plastic is about it. Um, yeah, that's not m measuring anything. So, yeah, I don't think uh, these guys are going to be compatible at all. 
Um, so these are, well, they weren't bought for that either anyway. They were just bought uh, for replacements for the uh, 3D printer. But yeah, just thought I'd plug that in and see what happened. Not much as it turns out. It's mailbag time from downtown Tasmania. Here we go. This one is uh, eight pin dip eight. And now, where's my little light here? What are we looking at? We're looking at LM2903s. LM2903s. I want to say comparators, I think. I think dual comparators. And uh, yeah, we might uh, put those to use at some stage. Got a few ideas at this stage. I'm actually thinking I'm following a project online. When I order these, I've normally just watched a YouTube video, so I'll go and search that out again, but I'm pretty sure that these are uh, dual comparators, so one on either side. I'll put up a little um, sheet here, like something from the data sheet here to confirm that or not, and if it's not right, I'll put down a shame on me down the bottom. And non-copyrighted music. Oh, oh, okay. Hmm, that's an interesting chunky sound. This isn't electronics. So whether it'll make the cut to the video, I don't know. It is an 800 grit, is that how you say it? Uh, and I don't even know whether to say whetstone or wheatstone, but it is for grinding. So I have a couple of new kitchen knives, and uh, I've got a steel, which is sort of like a round guy for sharpening it. But I really want to go just a little bit more. So I've got this, and I've picked 800 because it's sort of in the mid-range of very fine or very coarse sharpening. It feels you know, like very smooth sandpaper. be very interesting to see. I've not used one of these. But I'm assuming that you wet them and then um, just use that sort of motion to sharpen up the kitchen knife. That's what that one's about. Not electronics, but uh, yeah, I think still pretty good. I mean, you know, that's sharp, isn't it? But you would probably just replace that blade. But for the kitchen knives, probably a better idea to, um, to sharpen them from time to time. Makes for a lot uh, easier time in the kitchen. Downtown Tasmania. This is a nice package. And inside, let's hope there's some nice things. What have we got? Uh, I think these are more temperature probes. So I've been going mad on the old LM35s recently, which is um, three pin temperature probes. And uh, I'm using them to do some solar light projects, which I'll, uh, I'll link up here. Uh, but basically, very straightforward devices for measuring temperature, you know, within one or two degrees, which is all I'm looking for. And uh, just got a few of these. I was fixated on the, I think it's LMT85s for a while, but I like these guys better now. Hmm, interesting rattling coming from this one. Almost like, oh, okay. Yes, I have been waiting for these. So I'm building uh, some toy, well, a toy at the moment for my grandson, which is in a, a box. So it's a flicking toy. I have made one of these before, actually. So this project goes, oh, gosh, must be three or four years at least uh, I will link up the old project uh, up here. And it's a, it's a little toy for kids who have that fetish for sort of flicking on and off buttons. And this one has LEDs as well. But the box itself, I wasn't happy with the way I sealed the last one. Uh, and a pile of stuff put me onto these things. You, you put your soldering iron in one end and you can sort of push that into the plastic of your container. And I'm 3D printing a container at the moment, actually. And then, uh, so that's M4 size, and then these M4 screws go into that and uh, and seal it off. I, 
wondering at the moment if these are long enough. But um, yeah, that's the that's the uh, that's the idea to put these into solid plastic and then these screw into that. Uh, yeah, nice little connectors. And thanks, Polar Stuff, for the inspiration. Hmm, this is a big one. I wonder if it's one of these parcels within a parcel. Maybe. Aha! Uh -huh. This isn't electronics, or is it? It's doggy stuff. Yes. So we've got LED mm, collars, uh, thanks to our runaway girl, and, uh, and also little LED baubles. And let's see, oh, there's a little, there we go, pull that out, and there we go. Can you see that? Let's turn some lights up and have a look. Let's turn that one off as well. Yeah, <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, that's a bit insane, isn't it? What about these little guys too? So, LED baubles and LED collars. Um, I guess you just press them. I can't see why that is not going on. Hmm, I have to pull one of these apart. Dog stuff. There it is. Well, if you were screaming at the screen because I didn't see the little bit of um, plastic strip on the bauble, well done you. Yeah, so when you pull them out, there's a little bit of plastic stripping. You see that? So you pull that out and then press and we're good to go. So, and there's different modes as well. Um, I already got some of these, but the dog sort of destroyed them. Um, they weren't very hardy. I'm hoping that these ones will be a bit hardier. So we'll see how that goes. Keeping them safe at night. <laughs> Good luck with that. And this guy. Oh, runaway battery. All right, here we go. What's in this one? Ah, motors. Many, many motors. Excellent. So, I was on the uh, interwebs recently, and uh, I saw this sort of uh, intriguing robot arm thingy in uh, in Thingiverse, and so I thought, yeah, I'll download that and start to print it. So, we've got some pieces already printed. Here they are. They're a bit stringy, though, isn't it? Hmm. But uh, yeah, so the whole idea is having sort of like a robot army thingy. And uh, of course, there's no uh, point in having a robot arm if you don't have a way of actuating the arm. Lots of motors. Hopefully, they're the right ones to fit here because the ones that I had uh, were the wrong flavor. So um, that's what that's about. Uh, nice. Good one. Happy birthday to me. It's not really my birthday, although a close collaborator of mine claims that it seems to be my birthday every day. Surely not. And in here, the birthday present for the day is Dip 8 something or others. And they are... Let's see if we can't get in a little closer on that. They are... Any five five three any five five three four. Hmm. I wonder if they're related to the any five five five. Probably not. Any five five three four. Low noise, I'm guessing dual op amp. I'll put the uh, the specs up here so you can have a brief look at it. But um, that's what these guys are. Oh, look at the um, look at the end of that. That's very hairy. Picking up bits and pieces. Here we go. Try pointing with that. Yeah. So uh, these guys here are op amps. Nice one. Yeah, a little bit of a rattle. This one looks well cooked. What is inside? Tubes. 
tubes of dip switches. Hmm, interesting. Looks like five dip switches, so we can get 32 different positions. Uh, two to the power of five. And um, yeah, I think I was looking actually for these for selecting um, different types of resistors leading into a 555 timer. Uh, and that was a project I think I was looking at for a while. I'm still looking at it. Uh, where I was going to make a kitchen timer and then you just select the times with this looking at it now It's a bit fiddly. So maybe I need like big switches to be doing that But uh, yeah, that's what these little guys are for and I didn't have any uh, well, that's not true I had some I think twos fours and eights. I didn't have any fives, but now I do That is the mailbag for the week and uh, we'll catch you next time. See ya